I got carried away on a passion project and that's why I've been MIA for a while. I definitely got carried away with this. There are so many paintings in today's video. Like, I kid you not, weeks worth of paintings. It's all within a theme though, and I'm really excited to share this with you. Here's a little teaser. I'm gonna show you so much artwork. So much, in fact, that my memory cards, like, they all were full at the end of this, and I couldn't film all of the paintings. <laughs> Before I show these paintings to you though, I just wanna let you know, all of the originals will be for sale in my shop at miraviler.com. And I am launching tons of prints. I have new stickers in my shop. I just did a big shop launch. So go check out miraviler.com if you would like to see what's new. We obviously have to do a voiceover for this video because with weeks worth of footage, like, mm -mm, I kid you not. So this first painting here is actually a little bit of a collaboration and it is what ignited this whole series. It inspired the whole thing. I've been on this kick with collecting handmade mugs and supporting small businesses with that. And in my spare time, I love finding different ceramic artists on Instagram. And I came across Aline and her handle is the analog clay girl. Her artwork, amazing. Her photography, amazing. It all inspired me. So I messaged her and I was like, hey, can I paint one of your photos? She said yes. So boom, the series of floral paintings kind of started from this. And when I went into this, I was like, yeah, I wanna do tons of moody florals. And I'm gonna start with this one. I thought it was fun because it was going to challenge me to use color schemes that I normally don't use. I normally do really bright and saturated paintings, even though in my heart, a lot of the time I would rather go toward muted colors. But I think like my personality just kind of leaks out when I paint, I don't know, it is so hard for me to be <laughs> muted color-y. <laughs> but I really enjoyed this painting. And I'm so thankful Aline let me use her photography for this one. turned out and this is a 16 by 16 canvas by the way it's a gallery stretch yeah I really enjoyed this though I love that the background is so dark though and it's mostly a solid color like a little bit of this pink leaks through I did that little halo effect with the underpainting so if you look up close you can see the underpainting all around the edges I don't know I'm just digging that style lately so here we are this was so fun like I have no words to describe it because the process was what was fulfilling for me. And now that I'm looking back at something I did a couple weeks ago, <laughs> like, I just have like feelings to associate with this painting rather than words. Anybody relate to me with this? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, yeah, this original is at mirabiler.com and I also have pre-orders for limited edition prints. I forgot to say this earlier, but the pre-orders for my prints are gonna ship out like at the end of the month, but I'm putting them up now to give people time to get them and everything. Let's talk about this painting now. I decided to just look through my studio at this point and see, you know, I have so many canvases just laying around. What can I use next? Let's just use the things that I already have and make this vision come to life. So I wanted to do these moody florals. I found this little canvas here. So I decided, you know what? Let's do some florals with this one. So this time I did like a really full bouquet and I decided let's just make the florals really take up the page and then do some dark purpley-ish colored background around it. So this is the point where Everything just kind of shifted and it turned into this full-blown passion project that I did not expect to happen because I went into this expecting one thing 
and it was these dark, moody, floral paintings. <sighs> I don't know what happened. Something in me just like changed and I was like, that was fun. I really enjoyed that, but we're changing directions. So I'm just taking you along on my thought journey, being transparent with what goes on in here when I start getting really inspired and into something. I changed directions. <laughs> so once again, I dug through my art studio. I found another small canvas. This one's a little bit bigger than this one though. So I decided let's make things really bright, cheerful. Spring is here and we're going to really dive into the bright colors now. I decided to do like a magenta colored flower as the focal point. And then the whole background is like this impressionistic array of stuff, I guess you could call it. And it's kind of giving me like Monet meets Lily Pulitzer or something vibes. I don't know, that's just like what keeps coming into my head when I look at it. Which is funny because I wasn't like shooting for that at all when I was painting it. I was just like really going with what I was feeling. And now that I look at this, it's like, yeah, I don't know, it just reminds me of that. <laughs> so then I once again looked around my studio and guess what? Another canvas. I have so many canvases tucked in random places in this room. It's ridiculous, but not really anymore. The pile that you saw earlier or like in the thumbnail, you know, that's about what I have left. And I have a couple other large canvases left, but all these little ones, they're mostly used up now. <sighs> so we did that magenta coneflower in the last painting. It really changed the vibe of this whole series. So I decided, you know what, let's do another coneflower, but make it like a cream color. Let's just see how that pops against the background. I just really enjoyed it. So yeah, I, I tried to keep the color scheme really similar with this one, I feel like I'm just like waving these around right now, but I'm so excited about this whole thing. And I felt so suspicious because I have been working on these for a couple weeks now and trying not to talk about it much. I hinted about it once on Instagram, but that's all. But anyway, yeah, these two are kind of like sibling paintings, the little coneflowers. Oh, and the sides, they match just like the two moody ones. I was like, yeah, we're gonna go with this theme. I'm digging it. I feel so dumb right now because there was a painting sitting in the background that I did not want to be seen and it was just chilling back there. I'm not refilming the rest of this video. So if you saw it, you saw it, but you're gonna see it again later. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> so the next four paintings you're going to see is like a collection within a collection. And this one is really cool because it's a bunch of tiny paintings. The paintings are each four inches and I wanted the theme to kind of be like daisies and cone flowers. So yeah, you already saw I did the magenta underpainting for all of them and I used this lovely vine charcoal. I have had this pack since college and it's like almost used up now. This, these little bits here is like all I have left, but I do have another pack around here somewhere. I really like the idea of paintings that are like very related right now. And for me, somebody who paints for the process, that sort of thing is very fulfilling because say I really, really love painting this and I just wanna like do it again, you know? That's kind of what happened with this whole thing. The last painting in this video, I'm saving the best for last. This is my favorite one. And sadly, I barely have any footage of this one because by this point, all my memory cards are full. Here's the big reveal because the little speed paint that you just saw, mm -mm. this is what it looks like. 
Makes me so happy. I did a lot of the blue wildflowers in the background of this one too. And then I decided to do this like brick color here and there, like little splashes of it to accentuate things. Anyway, this is my spring floral collection and I still honestly feel very inspired. I really do. But at some point, you know, you have to stop and <laughs> breathe for a little bit, you know? So I honestly, I don't know if this series for 2023 will keep going or if this is like it and I move on to something else, I don't know. Just a reminder, these prints will ship out closer to the end of the month. So if you pre-order and there are other items in your order, it will all ship with your pre-order. Also, one of the new things in my shop, it's like kind of related to this floral series in some way, but it's like tropical plants. This artist sticker. And the cool thing about it, you see that? It's transparent. So whatever you stick it on, like this whole clear background, you know, it just blends in with whatever you stick it to. <gasps> so excited, so excited. I need to get a new iPad case so I can stick this to my iPad. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for listening to this like flood of inspiration. I can stop feeling suspicious around you guys now. <laughs> I'm not kidding, this, this whole thing made me feel really suspicious. So I felt like I was keeping a really big secret even though like it's really not a big deal. But to me it's a big deal because it's like this big passion project. <laughs> okay, have a beautiful day and I will see you soon. Bye.